Hello, hello, hello. We are back with the Not For Broadcast. This is game where you are in control of editing news program. I do not know why I talk like this, but fuck it, we roll with it. Let's continue. Where did we leave off? We left off with the kids performing like their little song and dance number, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. I think we're almost at episode two. So we'll see. We'll see how we get. Oh, day eight. Day fifteen. <laughs> you get to the theater slightly early and Sam's already there waiting, dressed to the nines. You smile widely as you join hands and take your seat in a private box. You certainly could get used to this. The tickets arrived on your doormat on Monday with a typed message saying thank you from Chris. Oh my god, that's right. So there's like, a, okay, there's like a weird papers please subplot here. So I gave my uh, in-laws my passport, I think. All right, day 16, a call from school. The family answering machine Rackles to life. Who could be calling you? Good afternoon. This is a message for the Winston family. It's Miss Smith. Darling, regarding your son, Prince. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for it, but he wants it in school today. Hmm. Day 48. can't help but crack a smile as you look around the table. The snow has settled on the grass outside. The kids are pulling a cracker. You did blah 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 blah. You're sitting at the head of the table. Let's make a toast. Let's be that person. Let's make a toast. Current wealth is crippling debt. Oh, we're not doing well. Good God. Telling the other kidney. Holy shit, we're not doing well in the wealth department. And good god, the days are flying by. Day 72. It's your anniversary. Nice. No kids, no work. Nice. Good evening, Alex. This is Mr. Bozeman. I'm calling you to inform you that we require your work this weekend. Your heart sinks. Oh, what am I gonna tell Sam? Well, I mean, we've got to. We should go to to work if we're in crippling debt. So I think it said that we are on day 153 or something like that. So it's interesting. It's going to be very interesting to see um, how we get on. Okay. 153. Here we go. Oh! Here we go, here we go. What do you Good got evening, for us? Alex. Hello, Bozeman buddy. Here. Bozeman? Boss, while you're powering up and getting the adverts loaded, yes, I, I gotta, um... just tell you that we've had yes. a lot of public information films from the government, and so it's mandatory let's that get you play it. On. We still have a free choice for the other two, so read those tape Ooh, labels okay. carefully, but make sure you play the advance advert, preferably at the second Okay, we'll put that on number two then. Crazy Neil's coming back, because I love Crazy Neil. And let's do a check your prostate. Why are all men such crazy? Why not? Check your prostate. He has a complicated relationship with his face. No. Sorry, are you saying he chose his imaginary friend in the sky? You know what's interesting is that I'm actually studying this at school right now. I'm in a course doing film production, and I've got to do, like, this whole multicam setup. It's so cool. Five, four, three... Here we go. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. And you sure I'm are. Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Uncooperative. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Here Salisbury we go. Here and we Peter go. Clement, I'll be asking what this mysterious symbol might mean. Critics have been quick to dismiss the graffiti. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. We made it. We made it. By a tiny disorganized group. 
of those who will never, under any circumstances, be content. Okay. A oh god, I got to remember how to do this now. I'm Dante's nervous. Taint for more than a month now. Embittered doctors, uh, Operation Ball Arm Race or Operation Outside. Announced today that they're considering hey, two possible why not? options to end the growing tensions. Since splitting into two opposing camps on day four of the expedition, relationships between the factions. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're keeping it hunky dory. Doctor Wong's team have successfully prototyped what they're calling shanks of deterrence. Shanks of deterrence. Ward and Horgan's Ward Fair enough. To have fashioned a deadly toxin for the tips of her group's spears. I certainly wouldn't want to knock over their test tubes, Jeremy. <laughs> Bearing their opinions. The formerly rich are fighting back with a okay. naked protest. Let's, Our very own hmm. Robin Short was on hand earlier Let's today the when with this the new protest group first uh, four, four, presented four, 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 four. <laughs> Spokesman Wentworth Somerset Bentley said today, they've had the shirts off our backs, we they go. might as well have the west of it too. And while it's easy to laugh, oh, I get the reporter there. <laughs> how desperate the reporter the there's like, ah, to regain their power. No. Fallen angel? Notorious addict Johnny Hansleeve seems to have reached a new low in his battle with booze, as this recent picture reveals. Johnny's star certainly lacks oh. his former glow these oh. days, with public concern over his He's mental health. He's getting a little, health, little lovely with the little buddy right there, mate. Since being getting a little lovely with your friend. This year after urinating on a the headbutt. There you go, bloody boom. Oh god, we got interference coming. Interference. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, keep up, keep up, keep up. Gotcha. Ah, Jesus. It's going fast, it's going fast. Oh, crap on a cracker. Oh, crap. Alright, let's fuck shit up a little bit. First tonight, after the Christmas horror caused by Mr. Snugglehugs, we have an exclusive Ooh. interview with one of the victims. Poor seven-year-old Timmy Tadlock, like so many of those affected by the Christmas bloodbath, has spent the last three months undergoing a series of reconstructive facial surgeries. He last sure week, has. Joyfully, he spoke for the first time since the tragedy. Yes. Tonight, he talks to us. Before we go to the interview, however, this station would like to issue a full and frank apology oh, for any we go. part we may have played in the tragedy. We should never have advertised Mr. Snugglehugs. <laughs> that our publicity oh, that's the, that's the thing trip. that I... It's how we the West. I'm coming. Can we have... Might have been averted. On behalf of the nightly news team... I, I advertised. So that was the toy that I advertised. Mr. Snugglehugs? Oh, shit. That's, uh, that's the ad I'm playing. <clears throat> Don't speak about our sponsors like that. Now it's over to Robin Short at the Tadlock family home. Robin? Thank you, Megan. I'm here with Mr. and Mrs. Tadlock here we and their go. seven year old son, Timothy. What's happening? Uh, interference? Time with us today. Interference. Lucky oh, no. Time with you at all. What you lot did? Irresponsible. I mean, whose idea was this anyway? It's, it's all right. It wasn't your fault. Oh, God. As you can see, Megan, there's still a few open wounds here. I'll tread carefully. I'm going to speak to Timmy. Here we go, here we go. Hello, Timmy. Timmy? Mummy? Here Who's we go, I got it, I got you. It's a lady from television, Timothy. She's not from television, Timothy. remember. Don't worry, Mr. Tadlock. Uh, I wasn't uh, the youngest ever. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm for oh, no crap. reason. So, Timmy, can you tell them what I want you to do? Snuggle hugs, haven't you? Was he under the tree? Yes. I oh, can God. smell him already. He smelled like love. Oh, uh, yes. I'm trying to inter uh, I'm trying to get the interference. I was so excited. Trying to deal with I it. I ran up to my room and gave him a big hug. Like our cat. Before he got in the way of Daddy's Porsche. And what did Mr. Snuggle Hug say to you? He blinked his real action eyes. Okay. And said you're my very best friend. Snuggle Hugs was here. And she can't be. We're just eighty nine ninety one. Okay. Okay. And then. Oh God! The interference is moving so much. Forty one. And is that when he burst into flames? Careful. And then he exploded. <laughs> oh look! I've asked you nicely. And am I right? One of his real action eyes is now oh, permanently crap, 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 crap. I don't know what I'm doing.
I didn't know what I was doing right there. What the hell? All right, let's see if we can make it this time. We gotta, we gotta do better. Okay, I think I'm doing a little better this time. I don't, I, we'll have to see. It's hard to keep up with this. I was so excited. So hard. I ran up to my room and gave him a big hug. He was so soft and warm, like our cat, before he got in the way of Daddy's Porsche. And what did Mr. Snugglehug say to you? He blinked his real action eyes and said, you're my very best friend. But I sure wish Mrs. Snugglehug was here. And she can't be for just $89.99. And then, and then it's a general error. 41! And is that when he burst into flames? <laughs> and then he exploded. <laughs> oh, look, I've asked you nicely. And am I right in saying that one of his real action eyes is now permanently... <laughs> it glows through bandages. I know it's under there, staring at me. There are some of the other children have started calling him Timmy Three Eyes. Give me three eyes. Oh, That's kids fine. are mean. It's too many eyes, Robin. And what's the last thing you remember before the darkness overtook you? He looked at me with his one eye and laughed. It sounds very traumatic. Do you have nightmares? All right, that's quite you? enough of Jesus, you what kind of, what kind of camera, questions is this reporter asking? Up, Jesus. <laughs> Mr. Tadlock, just a couple more questions. Timmy, do you think you will ever be what we can call no, no, normal again? Jesus, this reporter's asking some You're fucking really weird right. questions, dude. Do you think your parents Did will ever you? really oh, love you again? These are harsh <laughs> questions. <laughs> Holy shit. God, the news is crazy, bro. Just one of the many victims of an This news is insane. That has shaken our nation. Thank you, Robin. Harrowing stuff. And many questions to be answered by Sophia Remington in the coming days and months, I'd wager. Oh, I can't take it. 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 I can not take it 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 you won't want to miss now, they said to play the we'll advert after these messages. on number two, but I'm playing it first. One minute back. Oh, sorry, I'm bursting. Oh. She's very good. Who? Megan. Yes, she is. Yes, back, yes, Jeremy. she is. Women are coming. I'm more worried about this water dripping into my head. Alex, over. We're getting reports in that naked protesters might try and spoil the sports board final by waving their fleshy bits about. Try and make sure you don't broadcast it. It's 6 p.m. for God's okay, sake. Okay, they're broadcasting their bits. The nice. Bozeman out. Bozeman out. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Coming up later, we'll be speaking to the Prime <laughs> Ministers about oh, their exciting pissed. new healthcare facilities, transition centres. I just see they care. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Jeremy. But first, we're going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the All right, finals come on, Patrick. of the new game that's come on, the Moustache. Nation, Sports Board. Patrick? That's right, Megan. You join me live here from the final. Very nice, the very nice. Sports Board Championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. First up, we have Ellie Stryker. She's the more experienced of our two players today. Stryker has got an accuracy of seven, a danger rating of eight. There you go, got driving band. Stryker's known for her signature move for the year, Randy Hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending. It's Mr. Wings oh, running oh, he's slapping him. The finger Giving now, him a little slap on the face. He's waiting on the ref now. The slapping ceremony is taking part. Why is there a slapping ceremony? What? Why? Still going on. Striker, of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia round. All right, here we go. Some margin. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the brawn and not the brains. Stupid. All right, here we go. Come on. 
Eddie Stryker. Nice start there from Stryker. She's determined not to let the nerve show. Uh, not after last time. All right. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Using his arm to pick up the ball. He's got it. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Not a bad shot there from uh, Harris. I'm keeping it. I got. I, I got this. I got this. For shot number three. All right. She's gone to sort of throwing under her legs. Uh, not bad, if you ask me. All right. A bit All of business right. with the ref, but it got sorted out. Back to Harris now. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. I'd say that's fair, but what do I know? All right, come on. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, no, and Harris is not going to be happy with that. Nice. Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope the round two treats him a bit better. But first, of course, after the argument... We're doing good. We're doing good. Now we have the ceremonial changing of the ends. All right. And of course, now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes sense. Right, right. <laughs> Striker giving it large. Wins a round two now with Harris. Okay, you seem to have some sort of streak on the pitch. I apologize if you broadcast any of that stuff. Um, she appears to have slogans across her breasts and arse. Um, uh, try and ignore all of that security. I'm sure we're going to take them out as soon as possible. Uh, we've got a uh, we've got a streaker running. Uh, across any of that, as I said, um, we're going to get the situation resolved as soon as possible. Um, uh, they're trying to carry on play, but it's probably difficult. I'm struggling to follow. Like, All right, let's just. Uh, uh, it's quite nice all, and, um, there we go. We'll together. just keep right, it on great. the bin. Okay, so back into round two now, uh, and how is absolutely determined to close that massive gap. Eddie Striker. No, it's just some of the tightest play I've seen ever. All right, here we go. Harris. Harris. And was that the fitted thumb screw? We haven't seen that at the heat. What a brilliant move. Brilliant move. Back to striker. And we know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. Of course, the ground sound. Um. Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. I don't know about you at home, but I'm fine. <laughs> it's it's the most bizarre thing it's I've ever seen. Blooming jaw dropping. Blooming jaw dropping. The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck, neck or head. And Harris is having an absolute shocker. What a miserable what the start hell? for Tommy Harris. Uh, but he is a late I'm so confused. What the fuck is this game? Oh, here we go. Bloody nice. Yeah. They're having a little okay, dance. Okay, another posh poke to lose on the court here. We don't apologize for that. Um, we'll do our best to shield you. Oh, we'll God. To look directly at it. Um, is uh, running around here with his genitals. Look at the ref, the ref's just like, uh, yeah, um, let it run. And uh, ruining what was shaping up to be quite the dancing to be fair. Um, now he's thrusting himself in, uh, in Harris's face, security's on it. Uh, and the bucket's been knocked over! Oh god. I cannot stand it when the bucket gets knocked over. Um, hopefully he'll get taken out now. Um, uh, genitals flying around for all to see. Alright, let's, um, let's show a little. Really, trust me, it's not <laughs> Sunday morning television. Um, and uh, out of there, uh, hopefully uh, taken away, never to be seen again. And it dribbled down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because of course if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. What? It's not going in the bucket. Go on, Harris. Back to striker. This is so bizarre. Are you meant to be getting it in the bucket or not getting it in the bucket? I don't, I don't understand. The animal bonus there, but of course perhaps... And yes, Harris has come in with a tiny bell. That is wonderful play. Of course, we've seen that before. Look at her face. She is absolutely gutted. What a mug. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, uh, Harris to serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel in his last four laps. This is so bizarre. Okay, and now we're going to go into the final round. Um, and of course, as it's a Tuesday, the final round is a mime round. Who could a mime round. Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh, Harris. It really could very nice, very nice. Um, Good imaginary shot. Yeah. I do not get this. This is so bizarre. Uh, we just have to wait for the referee now to announce it to make sure it is all official. I am so confused. And the winner of the first annual. Here we go. What, who we got it? Who we got it? Here we go. Come on. Come on. Everyone! Okay, 
forward. Once again, a win for everyone, uh, including me as my 15th win in Sports Board Championship. Um, wow, I'm gonna everyone's be a winner. My wife and children. Uh, yeah, so everyone's a winner. Uh, oh god, medals, the cameras uh, are getting hit. Um, and thanks again for watching oh god. Uh, Sports Board Championships. Uh, what more is there to say? I'm Patrick Bannon. Okay. Um, looking forward to celebrating tonight. Um, and all I'd always have to say, Jeremy, is back to you in the oh, studio. Oh no. Patrick Bannon there had an extraordinary Holy shit. fight. Historic Sports Board, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them, I'll have you know. I <laughs> certainly wouldn't bet against you. When we come back, oh God. I'll be talking live with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, who apparently have a big announcement okay. you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. Okay, good. Uh, fucking microphone shot me. What? Yep, I got shot fucking too. God damn it. Just shot me. Crazy Where's Neil's on the TV guy? again. <laughs> I love Crazy Neil. Everything okay? I want that oh, guy in the ad for now, every single broadcast. You're unshockable. <laughs> I'm immune to your cheap flattery. I'm wearing you down. Policeman again. Just heard from the chaps in maintenance that this storm is causing the old power surge. So okay, yeah. This might be a bit uh, dangerous. Yeah, I'm now well I aware of that. You can take the old shock for the sake of a perfect news broadcast, but too many in quick succession can so stop the old ticker. Oh, I can't censor. Ah, right oh, shit. Out. Actually, gonna need a whole new lining up there. Triple C, the chip window. We'll look into it. That's so good to see you again. Miss Wolf, your star seems to be in the ascent. Oh, is that the drunk guy? Oh alive. my god, these are the... That was the drunk Megan dude Wolf? from like episode uh, one or wherever. He's the one that was like having the press conference <laughs> with the here? beer. Here, oh, this guy's brilliant. Right you are, pet. You'll see that. Ten seconds, everybody. No okay, so now i got to keep in mind that I can't be shocked by people. Or by the cameras. Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Welcome to the National Nightly News, Prime Ministers. Oh, please, it's just Julia and Peter. We don't okay. believe much in time. Oh, goddamn. We're delighted to be here. Well, firstly, I should ask how you feel about the graffiti that's been springing up across the capital. Okay. Should we be worried? Oh, no. No, you definitely shouldn't be worried. Well, okay. not unless you've got a fatal pink allergy anyway. <laughs> but yes, it does seem that there are okay. still some people we're good. we we're haven't good. been able to help. You know, whinges. Okay, we're good. People who yet benefit from the many advantages of the new we're future. We're going good. And you know, Megan, as my old mum used to say, there are some pissants who just don't know how to be happy. We're working hard to reach these people, find out what they're angry about and how we can okay, help. Okay, we're good, we're good. The door to my government is Ooh. always open. This is going to get intense, though. But we didn't come here to talk about what may yet turn out to be some alternative arts project. Which we no doubt will have funded. When we want to talk to the nation about something far more exciting. Yes, your office briefed us that you have an announcement to make, but okay, they were being surprisingly okay. secretive about it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Megan. Oh, okay, it's not All usually right, what how it works, but... Uh, what scares you? I mean, really scares you. Ah, uh, oh. It's death, pet. She's talking about death. She's talking about death. Deaths. It's part of being human. Sorry, okay. are you saying that advance have cured death? That would be a vote winner. Yep, that was definitely a drop there. But while we may not have cured death, we hope we found a way to make it much less scared. And much okay, less painful. Okay, how are you going to do that? And much less expensive. No, which is me close off camera? Oh, sorry, it's, it's, it's camera four right there. Okay. When I was 13, me ma'am came and got me from school. He had to go to the hospital. The granddad, he'd collapsed that morning, so right. we'd all to say our goodbyes. And I went in to see him, he were all frail and... There we go, we're good. I, I, I we're was switching cameras every now and then just to fill in a little bit of ambience. And he said to me, Peter, he said, it's the right time. I don't ever want to be a burden to the people I live with. Was that the last time you saw him? Nope. Three days later, he were back home. He lived with us for nine miserable years after that. He had to be fed with a rubber spoon. He had a commode. So he'd just take a shit right there in the lounge. Oh, I can't even, I can't even censor that. He wouldn't even wait till half time. He wouldn't even wait till That sounds... Oh, it, it was awful. 
were awful for us. And this is the point. It were awful for him. He could see it was destroying me, man, watching him slowly fade away. All right. And he would beg we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Off his breathing equipment at night, but she couldn't. Or she wouldn't. It were a crime, you see. And she didn't want to lose the children as well as her old man. No family should have to suffer like Peter's did. And now, no family will have to. Okay. The health service is today opening the first of 300 Hell new yeah. transition centres. The transition centres will handle everything for your last days. The legal, financial, medical and emotional costs are all catered for and paid for by the government. Nice. So even the poorest citizen gets to pass on with dignity when they choose. And that okay. choice is important. This is a service only for people who choose it. There you go. People who feel they run their course and don't want to burden themselves or their families. She looks so confused. Long, humiliating decline. It's an oh, it's just giving me electric job. Are you OK? I, I, I don't know. I think it's from the asshole. Are we still on the air, Peter? Oh, yes. Uh, sorry, sorry. My apologies. OK. Oh. Are you not worried that this new system might be open to abuse? In what way? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've got a to get. Can I get a little bit of help here? Please! That the older okay. generation might feel somewhat... Jesus, a raw shell face! That one was massive! Oh, no. Right? no! That's such a big bleed. Come along! The, uh, sorry, the, the older generation might feel somewhat coerced. <laughs> Worst into spending their final days eating gourmet food and drinking. All right, here we go. Here we go. Luxury spas and gardens. Look, I am perfectly capable. Oh, fuck that grandmother with a rusty twat. Prime Minister, please watch your language. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, for God's sake! Go get yourself sorted out. Right. <laughs> We're launching a government information film tonight. It should tell your viewers everything really they need to know. You really do move in front of this oh. case. It's God hard damn. to believe you've yet to be an officer here. Oh, Megan. <laughs> We're only getting started. Ow. And on that note, thank you both so much for being here. Jeremy. Right, yes, um... That's all we have time for tonight. Holy shit. Uh, thank you. Let's go out That to was our really guests. intense. Um, congratulations to all the winners at the Sports World Final. And we'll see Holy you tomorrow crap, night Ola. at the same time. My name is Jeremy Donaldson. If you can, have a peaceful night. And we're out. Good job, everybody. Wait, how'd they get shocked again? So they just... The same, sir. How'd they get shocked again? I suppose there's any way this could be a, a good thing. It's my nephew, so let me transition the moment I start the leak. Jeremy? <laughs> Holy shit, that was, um... Okay, that was interesting. A slight dock to your pay. Broke as for... What's my wealth? Selling a kidney. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that was very interesting. All right, and with that, I think we're gonna leave this episode here. This is insane. So much just happened there. That was crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next one.